Hey there guys, I'm RVA Hiker Girl and today I thought I would tell you all about my favorite toys that I like to play with out in the woods when I'm not on the trail hiking. So something that you probably didn't know about me is I love knives and axes and one of my favorite things to go outside and do out in the woods when I'm not on trail hiking is knife throwing. I love to find a target or a dead tree to throw knives at and it's a great way to relieve stress and another way just to be in the outdoors enjoying some nature. Um, I am no way, no how a knife expert um, or a knife throwing expert. I am a novice. Um, so yeah, just something that I do um, and enjoy and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let me turn this camera around and I'll show you some of my toys. All right, so here are just a few of my goodies that I brought out with me today and I'm going to tell you all about them. So my favorite entry level throwing knife are these um, Smith and Wesson knives and they come with a case that carries all three of them and they are an eight inch full tang knife and they will only stick into the target just on the end. It's not, it's sharp on the end, but it's not sharp on the sides here and this is a full tang. And uh, yeah, they're pretty good throwing knives. Um, what you have to get used to when you start throwing knives is your throwing style. Everybody throws a little bit different. And it's a t it really is based on the number of revolutions that your knife is gonna turn to go into the tree. So when you can throw from the handle or you can throw from the tip, it's completely up to you. But I usually throw from the handle. One of my next multi-purpose knives that I brought out with me today is this one right here. Um, and what's cool about the case that it comes in, it comes with a ferro rod. So you can um, make fire if you want to. And basically to do that, you can take the back of the knife, never use the blade, but the back of the knife and just strike it. I don't particularly care for this um, ferro rod because it's kind of small, but this knife has seen better days. Um, she's pretty dirty. But this is my Schrade um, 8.4 inch full tang um, knife. And I believe, let's see, the blade itself is like 4.4 and the whole um, thing is 8.4 um, inches. And this is a great multi-purpose knife. I carry it with me when I go camping. Sometimes I'll carry it if I'm going hiking and the way that the carrying case is, it will allow, there's this hole right here, and you can actually put it on your belt of your backpack, um, which I do sometimes, but it is heavy, so I wouldn't do it on a long hike, but it's a great, great little knife just for all around, um, anything that you pretty much need um, while you're hiking and while you're camping. Oh, by the way, I like throwing this knife too. It is not meant to be thrown. It's a good way to break a good knife, but I do like throwing this knife because I seem to have more accuracy and it might just be because of the handle, how it has this little lip here and it just might be my throwing style, but yeah, one of my favorite knives to throw. But you will void your manufacturer warranty if you break it and it was from throwing it. All right, that X I brought with me today is another Schrade product and it comes with this sheath and I didn't clean it up sorry but this is what it looks like and it is I believe 11 inches and it is pretty sharp um, I have actually set this down and wasn't paying attention and backed into it wearing a pair of flip-flops and it has cut me. So um, it's pretty sharp. Um, I use this for a little bit of everything. It's got this hammer on the back, which you can tell it's well used. And I do use this sometimes to nail in my tent stakes um, when I'm camping. And I use it to make kindling all the time. And I also use it to make feather sticks, which um, it's kind of a bush crafting type skill that I've been working on. I really prefer to use um, my Schrade to do feather sticking, um, but if you're really careful and you keep this away from you, you can also do it with this as well because it's so sharp. But um, yeah, this is one of my favorites. It's nice and small and compact and I have more control 
when I'm using it because it's a shorter handle and it's a smaller axe versus a larger axe. Now this isn't gonna cut um, a bunch of um, full logs into wood. Um, that's really not what it's for, but for smaller stuff, yeah, definitely one of my favorites. So something else I brought with me today to show you that has nothing to do with throwing knives, but I just wanted to share it with you is this Snake Eye Tactical. And I will put the links for all of these items um, below. I'm not affiliated with any of these companies. I don't get any sort of kickback from any of these companies. This is just something that I wanted to show you guys. Um, anyway, this is a um, neck sheath that you wear around and I wear this when I solo hike um, for safety and um, yeah I kind of wear it as a deterrent for anybody I wear my pepper spray here and I wear my knife here so if anybody wants to mess with me hopefully they might have a second thought when they see that I'm carrying a knife and a pepper spray so basically what you do is you just pull it out and this is what it is it's a nine inch knife so probably half of that about four inches on this blade here um, and it's stainless steel and I really love it you can use it for peeling an apple or um, cutting an avocado if you want to while you're hiking um, you can raise and lower the sheath where I actually have it right now it hits my hiking um, the belt that goes around my backpack it hits right there and bangs on it makes a bunch of noise but if I were to shorten it and bring it up further then it wouldn't do that but um, it also has a built-in whistle which it's not very good for a whistle and I probably wouldn't use that I've got a whistle in my backpack if I needed it um, but I recommend this for any uh, female in general that's going to go out on the trail and hiking um, if you ever need it it's going to be there for you and if you know how to use it for other things too obviously that's what a knife is for but yeah anyway one of my favorites this one all right so i'm gonna start with the smith and wessons and i am a little bit rusty i haven't been doing this for a while so um bear with me while i give it a try i'm gonna get closer to the target to start yeah see i'm rusty And it's really easy to lose these in the leaves this time of the year in the fall so I cleared out a little area over here where I swept the leaves um, away so it would be easier to find them <sighs> that's a dud zero s six that's not good Here they are that's what they look like stuck into the tree so it literally is just the tips uh, that are going to be sticking into the tree and if you were to throw it which is what I was doing and it was hitting here then it's going to bounce off so be careful because when you when it bounces off if you're too close it can come back and hit you so you don't want to do that all right I'm gonna try the shrade this one usually I do pretty good with but again I'm a little bit rusty The first one, it's stuck, but then it just fell. All right, see why it's my favorite? So here's what this guy looks like being stuck in. This one actually goes um, a little bit further than the other uh, throwing knives because it is sharp all the way down. So there's more of a sharper surface that wants to stick into the tree. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me outside today to see what else I do out in nature besides hiking. Um, I really enjoy um, throwing knives and it's like I said, it's a great stress reliever and it's fun.
yeah anyway all right well let me know if you like this video if you want me to make other videos like this to show you guys other things that i do to enjoy the outdoors or if you want me to stick to hiking <laughs> Anyway, all right guys, I'll see you next time. I'm gonna go have some more fun.